Tomales Bay is a quiet refuge tucked into the coastline of West Marin. It seems a world away from the hubbub of urban life. But even here in the marshy grounds of the Tomales Bay Oyster Company, there are signs the outside world is creeping in. That's a good size one. Eric Sanford and a research team from the Bodega Bay Marine Lab are collecting native oysters to get a first-hand look at the impact of global warming. So we're studying the Olympia oyster, um, which used to be really abundant in the late 1800s, but because of a series of stresses, their populations declined. They're investigating how increasing carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is making oceans more acidic. For organisms that produce hard shells and skeletons, like oysters and mussels and sea urchins, um, these acidic conditions could be a real problem. It makes it harder for them to secrete their skeleton. Good Olympia oysters here. The research shows that changing conditions could damage future commercial oyster harvests and eventually even wipe them out. So here we have a juvenile oyster that was raised under um, acidic conditions. Back in the Bodega Lab, the team simulates those acidic ocean conditions predicted over the coming decades by studying what the effects are and really understanding how these organisms are responding to this increase in carbon dioxide, that'll help us come up with um, smaller, more local, regional um, mitigation solutions. Oyster farmers like Todd Friend of Tomales Bay Oyster Company are closely watching this research. This is a family operation, so uh, <clears throat> after I'm not around, the kids will have it. And uh, I would hope that they would be able to continue to operate in it for you know the next 50 years or or, or longer. But <clears throat> you know, are the oysters going to be able to make shell? Researchers say efforts to curb pollution worldwide could improve conditions. Until then, these oysters are revealing that a global crisis can find its way anywhere. Joe Rosado Jr., NBC Bay Area News.